that's a 4.5 live stream. Wait, what says? Hashtag new brand. <laughs> These are hashtags. So yeah, y'all get y'all snacks. Because I said me gonna be yum 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 yum. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the 4.5 special program. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, I'm hosting with... An old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Gu. I'm the voice of Kirara. Kirara. And I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be in this special program with you guys for the first time. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very excited to be here. Let's, Let's give everyone a chibi applause. <laughs> so I must. But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. What are we getting? Why don't we find out by taking a look at the version 4.5 trailer? Yes! Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Oh, also to you all, before, <laughs> before we watch the trailer, I did not see anything, even though I, Twitter is all over. I would have seen something, but I, I was being a good boy. I didn't, I wasn't, if I seen something, I was like, oh, let me fast scroll through it. I seen a little glimpse of it, then, cause I didn't want to see it. But I did put in the codes, though. But I skimmed for If I seen, like, a little glimpse of Genshin, I was like, I don't, I wanted to save it for stream, obviously. But yeah. Wow. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands. I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drug groups consume, the more sober they'll become. Oh, Dory. I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? I mean, Diona. I didn't mean to say Dory. The D's got me. I was like, no, me, that's that's not Dory. That's Diona. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we oh, supposed wow. to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Oh, wow. Fury, your, your shipment's here. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. It's up to me to decide who I want to be and to cut my own path. No Come on, Chori. What to do. Period. A boss. Let's go to my she got dual blades. We love that. We love a dual blade queen. She look. She look. Obviously, she looking good so far. Mwah. Eating it up. I'm eating it. Delicate as silk. Her all. Yes. Oh, she switches. Oh, she switches. Oh, cause now we got Navia. Oh, I like how they're like a little duo right there. Fiori here, I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? The first code there for y'all. I think the codes just the codes should still be going on. So yeah, if you didn't have to get the um codes, yeah, get them right now. But yeah, that trailer was really good. Showed up, um, Chori being a, um, a baddie, as she is. And it looks like we're going back to Mondstadt, because I think the festival should be going on, if that was, with some potions. Oh yeah, Kiara looks so cute. <laughs> Happy she be will be seeing her in this um this patch. The virgin. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. Yes. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Huh. Why was it in the box? Whoa! It's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. Hmm. She 
probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. As she should. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. She did. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm -hmm. You know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities. So let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's. I want to see. <laughs> it's up to me to decide who I want to be and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. That line right there, no one can tell me what to do in her voice. It's doing something to me. I'm like, I love the no one can tell me what to do. Well, let me replay that. I'm like, no one can tell me what to do. Oh, eat it up. I want to be and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. Queen. I notice, of course, she has her signature weapon right there. I wonder how that's gonna look when she don't have. Well, obviously, <laughs> unless you are oh oh make a whale and want to get her a weapon. The because she got another weapon that looks just like. Is it like? Is it looks just like that one? Oh no, it's like a different style a little bit. If you have a different, <laughs> my brain looking at the um the fashion of it all, it won't be matching. <laughs> it will not match. <laughs> The fashion impact in me, like mm, having like the um, is it the Miss Splitter? Not Miss Splitter. I forgot the um, JJ Cutter sword, <laughs> the green and the yellow. I'm thinking about the fashion of it all. I'm like, it won't. It will be clad. Let's go, Tomato. Oh, she's pulling a ka-ching <laughs> and um, I'll hate them teleporta teleporting over there real fast and leaving behind a doll of some sort. Oh, wait, she got geo infusion? Yes. I am the cutting edge of fashion. She is, and her alt is really pretty. I'll go back to it. I am yes. She's legit cutting the fabric in that alt. Let me see, can I time it just right? Yeah, right here. She's legit slicing the fabric. Ooh, look at that pose. Edge of fashion. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> Very cool. Have you seen her doll? It's so cute. Mm -hmm. You could say that she's a cut above the rest, Aww. if you will. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. Mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to add them to my own collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't notice that. Good catch. Yeah. Observers often consider Giori to be an unconventional designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using her own blades to cut fabric, she also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Tamoto is indispensable to how Giori expresses her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone, this is fashion. <laughs> 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 yeah, totally. Chiori's found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. Uh, Tamoto. Oh, it's the doll. Okay. That, too. During her Which is so cute, Tamoto. Let's get a name for him. Elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stat. Okay, good to know. She goes off of attack and defense. So you gotta build <laughs> me already like calculating like okay, I gotta build some defense and attack on her. Lovely. <laughs> Wait, wait. 
She already made that automaton herself? Wow, it's so intricate. Maybe she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> For sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And as an experienced businesswoman, <laughs> Chiori knows how to capitalize on favorable. Oh wait, she can leave two. But okay, that's good. she can leave two. Conditions. Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active, and there are other geo constructs on the field. And other geo constructs on the field. Okay. By unlocking oh, one wait, of her spells active, and there are other. Oh, so you have to have another person with um geo construct. Okay. Okay. Good. I have Zhongli, so we can have two of them. <laughs> and then for the um free to play people, you use geo traveler. Because I think his thing is like a geo construct. Well, their thing, since you can play either Lumine or Ether, you can put their uh their um thing they put down as a geo construct. So she then you can pull you can um do it as well. If you don't have um Ito Ito or um Zhongli to put down a geo construct. Geo constructs on the field. Huh. Okay. By unlocking one of her specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Oh, interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character by using her skill. Uh huh. That is so cool. I, yeah, I noticed that uh, when she um switched into um Navia. Oh. Her little assistant seems to save her a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. Chiori doesn't like to waste her time on. What can I wait to have a full Geo team again? <laughs> um, trivial matters? If someone tests her patience, then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality. <laughs> Ooh. Chiori may be a professional designer, but she's also really fun to watch in combat. For mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Chiori doesn't think that fashion stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, the whole team will have their movement speed increased. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. That's what makes her a true designer. Our travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party and more fashionable. Uh, well... Maybe not. Oh? Chiori tends to run into a lot of trouble. She do? It might be because of her blunt personality, but uh. unexpected problems often arise, no matter how much she tries to avoid them. Mm. I'm sure that a straightforward person like Chiori has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly. <laughs> it's possible. Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chiori brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure, such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably will. We ever see Fontaine Fashion Week? Is that going to be an event in the future? <laughs> like I really want to be that. Up my alley. Probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter, will become available in version 4.5. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Fontaine Fashion Week. Oh, we're gonna be. Oh, it won't be no. Okay, it it's gonna be part of her story quest. Okay, that's cool. Of course, gonna be doing it. How curious! What kind of challenges are they? Shh, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. I cannot wait to see that. I should mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh, it makes sense, because her outfit is so adorable. Uh -uh. If you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. <gasps> Lynette, have a story? Uh, not a story quest. A hangout? Cannot wait. Cannot wait to hang out with Lin Lynette. <laughs> what is it? I always say, I'm confused. I always keep confusing her with her brother, Lenny. And so I'm like, Lynette. Lynette. <laughs> Lynette's hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. Can't wait. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. The Fatometer. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, this is a pretty interesting tool. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the Fatometer. 
So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the Phaetometer as an interesting solution. Ooh. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co-op mode, you might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the Phaetometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, <laughs> then you can even use the Phaetometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the Phaetometer and see which number it gives us? Oh, me first! Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> right. Wait, is wait, is that only action in the game? That, that I think yeah, they, they said. Wait, let me see. Back it up. Save you from going back and it's pretty mode. Ooh. Traveler you can draw a random after travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. The Phaetometer. Oh yeah, we were. Oh, this is neat. Okay, I, I, oh yeah, I'm gonna see people will use this a lot, definitely for interesting ways, like for um people who like let the um Phaetometer decide my polls. <laughs> yeah, I already, I already can see people um be using this for um for polling situations. Let the Phaetometer decide how many times I roll. I roll pull for a character. Yeah. Start. Which number it gives us? Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Oh, Ooh, that's one. Yikes. Oh, my turn. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> well, it seems like Zach is the winner. What's the largest? What's the largest number it can go up to? Get away, big man! Let's go. Uh. <clears throat> we'll have event wishes from Chiori and Ito in the first half of version 4.5. Okay, come on, Geo. Geo's taking over <laughs> this um patch. So we got Chiori, obviously, and Ito. <laughs> so I already know who. Obviously, I already got Ito. So I need Chiori. A new five-star sword, Uraku Misugiri, will be featured on the we Uraku Misugiri. weapon event banner. Uh, it's a pretty weapon. Pretty, pretty weapon. <laughs> Here's a small spoiler for you. Oh? The new five-star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> Whoa. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. It might also work for Albedo. <laughs> That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Oh, wow. Nervalette and Ka- <gasps> My new- my new belly, my new belly, my new getting his rerun as he should. <laughs> my baby's getting his rerun with um Kazuha, which I'm like, oh, Kazuha, interesting. But my new getting his rerun, so people who didn't get him, and after seeing him, his play style, and really wants him, y'all can get him now. Ah, he's coming back. I love him. <laughs> Kazuha will also rerun in the second half of version 4.5. Be sure to check them out if either of them interests you. Oh, but luckily I already got both of them because whale. So <laughs> I, luckily phase two, I'm not going to have to be spending nothing. Only in phase one. And that's not all. It looks like we also have information about a new type of wish. What? The oh, oh, this, what? The chronicled wish. What is this? What is this, honey? What is this? A new event wish. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is this? Uh, what is that? What yeah. is this? Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5, the Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll <gasps> also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's Gravestone. Oh, look, looky, looky, we see a bow. And a um, claymore that we haven't seen in a hot minute. We see um, the hunter's path. Hun wait, hunters? Oh yeah, hunter's path, which is who weapon? Tainari's weapon, and then Dia's weapon up there. I'm like, oh wow. Dumb. Oh, no <laughs> wow. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Super cool. Wait, if so many characters and weapons are going to be on the same banner, 
Won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you want? Yeah, you speaking the you speaking um speaking our language. Yeah, I'm like what what is this gonna look like? Is it gonna be another faded path like the um weapon banner? Cause I be that stresses me out. <laughs> or what you want? Nope. You can chart a specific course for the character or weapon that you. Yep, it's just like the um weapon banner. Chill. Uh, love that. One. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. One, oh, one fate point. Oh, because the weapon banner uses two. <laughs> you gotta lose two times to get this one. Like, you only gotta lose it once. If you don't get the character you want, you only the next time you'll get it. Okay, I guess, I guess. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, Whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh. oh, shoot. What did I do? Oh, snap. I messed that up. Nope. You can chart a specific course for the character or weapon that you want. <laughs> Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. An item. What? An item. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Whatever you pull is guaranteed to be a character. The same is true for weapon pulls. That's neat. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make up for missing out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be good. Is it gonna be using the intertwined fates or the um acquainted? We gonna address that. Is it gonna be using the acquainted or the intertwined? <laughs> and that'll be good because I don't have Albedo or um Yulo yet, so that'll be really cool. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new banners will only feature five star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners mm, interesting more details about the chronicled wish banners will be revealed in an official announcement okay yeah because they need to go deep more explain this more i'm just like make trying to make sense i'm like mm, 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 but i'm like mm, okay i'll be waiting for that announcement because i'm like i gotta see because they didn't say if we're gonna be using intertwined fates or acquainted and that needs to be Clarified. <laughs> I'm just like, I need my intertwined for my unlimited five star characters, child. I can't. Mm, acquainted, I can waste on this. I can waste it. But I'm like, mm. I'll wait and see. Be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Also, version 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it easier for new travelers to explore to vet. We'll provide more details later on in the program. Okay. We've just finished the event wish section of the program. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. Mm. Sounds like a plan. Ooh. Oh, look at Jean and um, Lisa. Cute. But yeah. The new um third banner is really, really interesting. Can't wait to see more when they release some more information about it. Because I'm like, mm, I can get Albedo now and um, Eula. So they have three events. Well, they haven't been. They haven't appeared in three wishes, limited one wishes, their own banners, and they have to be what else? It was something else. Damn, I forgot. I forgot what else he said. Damn. Oh, they haven't had. To, they had. They can't be like a recent ban. They've been already recent. They had their own banner already on their own. So I'm like, okay. So good way for them to um get characters, show up on characters, since the um, five star roster is getting really huge, especially with Notland coming out this year, it's gonna be getting even more big. A lot of characters, so good way for everyone can have their reruns and all. Welcome back to the version four point five special program. Let's move on to the next bit of content. Ooh, let me see here. Bottle? Huh. Hmm. Judging from the shape of the glass and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. Oh. 
And judging from our surroundings, maybe Mondstadt is also involved? Ingo. Huh. Mm. Of course it is. Next, we're introducing an event that takes place in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Ooh. As the city of Mondstadt continues to develop, its leaders are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, and the Knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. Hey, that sounds super exciting. Oh, we're gonna be having some time with Miss Lisa, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion shop during this event. Oh, so why we always had to run something? We gotta be running, we're gonna be running another business. Oh, and what'll that look like? In the Alchemical Ascension event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a management sim. Again. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Oh, These nice. include Prima Gems and a four-star polearm. Oh yeah, I see that four-star polearm. Dialogues of Desert Sages. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Travelers can also look forward to meeting familiar companions at the shop. Oh, we better be seeing some other people from the na other nations. You ready to sing in Beto? Travelers can scale their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh, the lesbians are talking. <laughs> oh, hmm. sounds pretty neat. <laughs> I'm hyped. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? I feel like we don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. Oh, it's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten into character. Hey, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? She's a dog, ain't she? Mm, she doesn't have a tail, though. Oh, so Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, really? She's not? <laughs> is she a dog? Kim. We've completely gone off topic. Let's get. No, we're on topic. Like, is it too close to doggo or something? Back to introducing the most important event. Oh, this is so cute. The feline fortress Ferdisi. The traveler <laughs> and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey through Tavat, but this time they've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. Since they've been on the road for so long. There's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Yeah. Cat lovers of Tevat, unite! Yeah. Literally, all the cat lovers are gonna go feral, which, yes, as y'all should. I'll go feral too. They're cute. <laughs> so this one got a scar. Look at that. Oh, I got a little scar. Precise. This event doesn't actually take place at the cat's tail. Oh. Uh, Why? <laughs> you would think. Kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. Travelers mm. simply need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific target requirements, and provide the cats with their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the Throne of Meower. But yeah. playing with cats can- <gasps> We can actually pet them? We can actually pet the animals. We can finally pet. Uh, we, we, they listened a little bit. We can't. Pet, we can't pet them out in the wild when we're expo exploring and all that. We have to wait to an event for them to do it. But I know we can pet them now. We give them all the lovings. Be a little tricky. They'll get angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just do your best. <laughs> Once travelers have become good friends with all of the cats, they'll be able to meet a special friend. Yep. And it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. Hey, you know what all this cat talk reminds me of? Hmm? Card games. <laughs> ah, genius evocation TCG. It can never not be brought up <laughs> every time. In Tibet, they're pretty closely associated, right? I can definitely see travelers returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG after playing with all those cats. Play with the cats, play some cards, play with the cats, Play some cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> Ugh, you might be in trouble then. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats and engaging oh, in card games, 
the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Oh, damn, they really wanted them. They said, big brained, come to the, um, the research institution. He said, they said, no. Whoa. Wow. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. Yeah. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, it's I always hilly trolls. The cannon will be used to take down slimes. Oh, <laughs> that's cool too. Oh, this looks cool. This game kind of reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. So, in this event, Travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an endless horde of slimes! <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental reactions. The more points you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, rewards. Give me. Oh, hey, Sebastian. Special equipment will also appear on the field. Using them <laughs> will net you even more points. Sweet. Okay, our next event involves a mysterious concoction called the Phase Potion. Oh. That's something that Jami developed, right? If I remember correctly. Is it from Sumeru? It's giving very much Sumeru vibes. But yeah, more rewards. He's a researcher from the Amorta Darshan. Yep. Didn't the Traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh. He's made some improvements since then, and he's waiting for someone to test them out. Oh, we actually got some combat. I was like, they, they're going to throw probably a combat event. Here it is, a little combat. Mm. Hope you, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. How about you? How's your um night, Sebastian? <laughs> In previous challenges, you had to wait for the potion to take effect. This time, travelers will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Oh. Mm -hmm. Time will resume when you move or use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm-hmm. Yep. Time will stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? Oh, we can snap some cool like shots, action shots of the, um of, of our characters. It'd be so so fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. Oh, that's yeah, good. That is great. Travelers and during the rain, will also need oh, to yes. focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Awesome. Cool. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Yeah. Well, we've finished introducing all the events in version 4.5. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Uh, like usual, so many events, and also to last code if you um didn't get um all the codes, last one. Yeah, but I can't wait to make. Uh, obviously, make. Oh yeah, we, we will be making some potions with the, um the main event in Mondstadt with Lisa, and of course we're gonna be managing a um, business because we always gotta do a business, manage something. So I think the last time we went, mom came to Mondstadt for an event, other than um the other festival. We was managing some um stands and all that. So I'm like, of course. But the cat event is gonna be really um cute. We can actually pat the cats now. <laughs> no. As I said, we had to wait to an event to actually do it. Welcome back. In addition to the new events in version 4.5, the developers also planned a few system optimizations. Let's take a look. Oh, quality yeah. of life changes? After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on the character talent interface menu. Hopefully this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's. Oh, that's good. You can like see them right there instead of having to click onto them and then it pops up what they need. It's, it's right there now. We love that. Skills. 
Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu or pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your characters. Oh, this is a neat for um new players who not, don't know what they're doing and needs need help um building their characters. It's really neat. It yeah, also but... takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful to travelers who've just started their journey into that. Mm -hmm. Yep, this guide was designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to Tavat. There's so much to discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so far, we've just been covering the in-game content. But we also- Oh, wait. Coffee, he looking cute in this outfit. So have some external news to share. During version 4.5, Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel to launch benefit events that raise awareness about environmental conservation. Genshin characters will serve as ambassadors <laughs> for specific natural landscapes, and they'll be embarking on a journey with all the travelers out there. Wow. That's so special. That is such a cool collaboration. That is incredible. I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. During version 4.5, travelers can also look forward to the release of the Chen Yu Vale OST album, Jadeite Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. Oh, wow. It will contain music from version 4.4. It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's story quest. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. So cool. I can't wait. For the people who love the soundtrack, which obviously, Genshin soundtrack is always amazing in the game. You go to different um, music that comes on when you go to different areas. It's amazing. <clears throat> <laughs> all right. Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? Oh, already? Uh, yeah. Why so oh, fast? Exactly. It did go by fast. As, as I said, it's only been 25, but it felt longer to me a little bit because me rambling. So, yeah. Billy Wait. did. Okay, but is anyone else super excited for the cat cafe? Yes. 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 Obviously. Absolutely. Like, immediately. I need to pet the cat. 110%. I'm also really excited for everyone to meet Chiori. Again. <laughs> I mean, like, they met her, yes. but Absolutely. I want them to, like, meet her like get to know her yes cannot wait to that's a request sword scissor attack so cool yes. right. i mean i'm a little biased but you know i mean <laughs> i think that's fair yeah fair. yes We're very fair thank you thank you i will so probably much. end up spending a lot of time on the rolling crossfire event too mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. yes i will destroy those slimes destroy the slimes i will just roll with it then huh <laughs> <laughs> i had to i had to <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Bye, everyone. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. No, yeah. Bye. See you Bye. later. See you in game. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. That was it for the um for Genshin 4.5 special program. So cannot wait. <sighs> Especially can't wait for the new um the new wishing system. With the, um all the um monster characters, well not all of them, some of the um five star characters from monster can't wait. Obviously, like it's right here too. Another like video somebody made talking about it. Um, but yeah, I can't see hear, see more information that are gonna be releasing because I'm like, is it gonna be using intertwined fates for that banner or gonna be using acquainted? Because like I said we can't be wasting intertwined fates. So <laughs> that's for the new characters that be dropping, or what we're gonna be rerunning. <laughs> So it's gonna be interesting to see. And also Chori, she looks amazing. Cannot wait to um get her. I'm on a 50-50, so it's gonna be scary, but I want her. And also can't wait for her story quest so we can get to know her a little bit more. And also to do all the other um events as well. Looking forward to. Especially the um, potion one, obviously. Managing a business, making potions, hanging out with Lisa for a little bit, well, who, for how many long, however long we're going to be hanging out for her with. Which is however long we'll be hanging out her, with her. 
and also seeing other people, other um friends around the nation. Since they said they're gonna be seeing a lot of other people, so hopefully we'll see a handful. But yeah, that's it for the um 